Hey there, Jason. How you doing? First in the chat. Uh, I don't know what was going on on, on your all's end. Uh, I tried something new on my end to create the live stream. And I got to work some bugs out, but I did kind of figure it out, obviously, because now we're online. But I need to streamline my process a little bit better. Hey there, Hunter. So I've been trying for the last five minutes, actually, to get online. And uh, I kept hitting a roadblock. But uh, we'll figure it out. I'll, uh, I'll get better at it. Hey, Fox Bama. Doing good, doing good. So just staying home and uh, dealing with this whole quarantine thing. But uh, as you can see in the title, today is Take It Back Tuesday. And I decided instead of going through a bunch of individual wax packs, I had a bunch of trifolds I want to crank out. So I've got, and I'm going to do it in order. I've got 87, 88, 89, and I didn't have any 90 tops, but I do have a 90 FLIR. So I'm going to three tops and then a FLIR. And at the end of the stream, I do want to crack open this 19 gallery blaster box. See what we can get out of there. And I also picked up a brand new Fairfield. This is the new jumbo box that they're selling at Walgreens now. And uh, as you can see, there's no open window. It's completely sealed. So I have no idea what to expect out of this new box. So I, even though it's not Fairfield Friday, I'm going to crack open a new Fairfield. Just kind of a introductory thing to see what it's like. Hey, Fox Bama. Yeah, I already said hi to you, Jason. Jason's in the house. Good to see you. Oh, we got two Jasons. Okay, that's... I'm like, I already said hi to Jason once. So I'm not sure if... Maybe if you guys could give me some real quick and short feedback how my stream launched on YouTube today, what kind of notification you may or may not have gotten. Because I tried to schedule... Um, like a scheduled meeting on it. I, I started the stream about five minutes early to announce it. And then once it announced, then I tried to log into that uploaded stream. And I did run into a few uh, issues, but I finally figured it out. So I hope it didn't cause too much confusion on your all's end. So we got five in the chat right now. We'll give it a few more moments and see anybody else can jump in. Hope everybody's having a good Tuesday. Tomorrow's hump day, halfway through the week. And I know with this whole quarantine thing, and I've, I've been guilty of this too, if it weren't for my YouTube channel, I would forget what day it is. I have to really stop and think, okay, what day is today? Because you know, normally you, you wake up, go to work. A lot of us can't go to work right now, so you're just stuck at home all day, every day, and it's just sort of confusing. Fox Bama just stays confused. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I don't know if you guys noticed, I got a couple new decorations in the back. Uh, I do have a little Randy Johnson figurine. Now, he is on the Mariners there, but it's a Randy Johnson. And I'm having trouble. He keeps... See how far le he's leaning forward? I don't know if you guys can see that. And I try to bend his legs back, and he... Over time, he falls forward, and I don't want to break it. I may have to maybe heat it up a little bit and get those legs <laughs> to stay straight. And then this is actually an old trophy from one of my kids when they played Little League back in the day. I found that in a storage box in the shed. I thought, well, that'd be kind of fun to put on display. A little bobblehead baseball. Fox Bama, you're turning the big 3-0 next week? Wow. Well, congratulations. That's a big milestone. That's a biggie. They actually made a TV show back in the early 90s, late 80s, I think, called 30-something, if, if you've ever heard of it. And I remember watching that as a kid going, man, I, I don't ever want to be 30. That's so old. But, uh, yeah, it, it happens, <laughs> whether you like it or not. And it's not bad. 30s were good for me. So that's awesome. You thought 21 was? 21 is an interesting age because our whole... I remember as a child, 
you can't wait till you're 21 because then you think you've got the freedom and the right to do whatever you want as an adult. But what you don't realize is when you turn 21, you obviously you you immediately assume more responsibilities and more restrictions. It's not the way you think. So then, once you hit 21, the rest of your life you wish you could go back to being a kid again. It's so backwards. So, that's kind of funny. All right, well, it's uh, 10 after the hour, and uh, we're kind of lingering around 5 right now, which is kind of low, but I know there's other people live streaming right now, so I'm sure I'm up against that competition, if you want to call it that. So, let's just go ahead and get started here. We'll set these guys in the back, but again, I got uh, four packs of solo. I got 87 tops, 88 tops, 89 tops, and a 90 Fleer. So, we'll start with the oldest and kind of make our way to the newest. So... So that means, let me turn the camera down just a bit so we can see it. Hey, Sportsline, how you doing? Thanks for jumping in. Hey, Sportsline, just to let you know, he may not announce it, or I don't know if he's keeping it a secret, but it won't be a secret after this. Donald may or may not have sent out his first TTM today. I gave him the uh, address and the information, and he said he was going to send it out today or Wednesday. So, fingers crossed, he gets it back. Uh, good thing for him is, the address is in Seattle, and he lives in the Seattle area, so hopefully, he'll get a pretty quick return on it. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started here. Eight, 1987 tops, trifold. Here, we'll just kind of pull these out all together first, and then we'll rip them open. Hey, uh, yeah, Fox Bama, I've still got it. In fact, it's right here. Just sitting there waiting for you. Um, I'm not totally decided yet what I want to do with my sales. I feel like I kind of want to do what Donald does and do them on a monthly basis. Because every week, I just don't have the energy that Ethan has. He's got that 19-year-old, 20-year-old youth going on. I just can't do it. it, it it's, it's just a killer. So I'm thinking about break, uh, stepping back a bit and just doing monthly. Um, and instead of buying one card, I could just get what I get in the sale. Yeah, uh, it, I'll hold on to it, Fox Bama. I'll hold on to it for you until the next sale, whenever that may be. So, all right. Let's totally... Interested? Yeah, I'll bet you are. Okay, let's get into this. These are 1987 Topps cards. In fact, you know I like the top series, the 87, because when I did my custom card, I used the 87 design. See that? So I'm kind of partial to this set. So we got a Dale Murphy all-star card. Got a Ron Oster for the Reds. Raphael Belliard for the Pirates. Charlie Huff for the Rangers. Jim Wynn for the Pirates. Bob Horner for the Braves. Wish that said Nico Horner, right? Uh, Reed Nichols for the White Sox. Shout out to Chuck. Got Bryn Smith with the Expos. Um, Sammy Stewart for the Red Sox. Alfredo Griffin for the Athletics. Sammy Khalifa for the Pirates. Phil Garner for the Astros. Tim Tufel for the Mets. Cecilio Guante. A lot of pirates in this set. And that's kind of an interesting name, by the way. In case you don't know it, Guante is Spanish for glove. So his last name is Glove. And he's a pitcher. You'd think with a name like that, he'd be a fielder. But anywho. Uh, Rick Mahler for the Braves. Nick Asaski for the Reds. Manager George Bamberger. Bamberger. Hmm. Uh, Jeff Robinson for the Giants. Nate Snell. Uh, what, no, no relation to Blake, I don't think. With the Orioles. Uh, Rick Shu for the Pirate, uh, Pirates. Phillies. I got so used to saying Pirates, right? Phillies, Rick Shu, followed by Gary Redis for the Phillies also. Uh, BJ Surhoff, Future Stars card for the Brewers. Jose Oquendo for the Cardinals. Devon White for the Angels. He uh, ended up on the D-backs. 
around the 2000 year or so. Uh, there's Chris Bando for the Indians. Greg Matthews for the Cardinals. Ken Howell for the Dodgers. Mike Felder. Too bad he didn't have an eye in there. It could be Mike Fielder. That'd be cool. Uh, Buddy Bell for the Reds. Bill Swift for the Mariners. Shout out to Donald. Ozzy Virgil. That's a good one for the Braves. Scott Terry for the Reds. Darren Dalton for the Phillies. Fred Tolliver for the Phillies. I, it's kind of interesting those Phillies come back to back. There we go. Ozzy Smith, Hall of Famer, All-Star card. Finally, we got a hit. I'll set him right back there. I need to slide that forward a little bit so you can actually see it. Uh, Jerry Reed for the Mariners. And Frank Pastore for the Twins. Giants leaders card. Uh, boom! Barry Bonds. Rookie card, too, guys. We got his rookie card. Ring the bell there. Barry Bonds rookie. I'll have to set that one right there. Uh, Roy Lee Jackson for the Twins. Steve Ontiveros for the Athletics. Dale Mahorczyk for the Rangers. Richard Dotson for the White Sox. Bill Buckner for the Red Sox. Uh, Robbie Thompson, Gold Cup card for the Giants. Urbano Lugo for the Angels. John Stefaro for the Orioles. Dave Von Olin for the Athletics. Two more to go. We got Juan Bonilla for the Orioles. And our last card is a Frank White for the Royals. So the majority of these cards, eh, so-so. But we did get a nice Ozzy Smith and a surprise Barry Bonds. The Ozzy I knew was on there because it was on the front face. But that was a total shock right there. So that's cool. Getting that Barry. So we'll set those back for a second. And, uh, man, where's everybody going? We're down to two? Huh. I hope the stream's working. Is the chat working? Can somebody throw something in there just to check it out? Uh, hey, Wesley, thanks for jumping in. And thanks for giving a, a little chat there because I wasn't sure if the chat was working. So I appreciate you doing that. All right, so now we're up to 1988. We just got through the 87 tops. Now we're up to 88. And, oh, I'll tell you right off the bat, we got Jack Morris on the back. So at least one Hall of Famer that we know of. How's this go here? There it is. Ah, let me just get my scissors. I don't want to damage the cards. through this next package here. Not the easiest wrappers to work with, I tell you. And our third stack here. Uh, that was more work than it should have been. All right, here we go. Starting off the bat with the Ricky Henderson. Yes, pun intended, starting off the bat. Uh, Keith Moreland, I'll set that one aside. Keith Moreland for the Cubs. Jody Davis for the Cubs. Greg Harris for the Rangers. Dave Valle for the Mariners. John Russell for the Phillies. Mike Young for the Orioles. Johnny Grubb for the Tigers. Willie Upshaw for the Blue Jays. There we go, Fred Lynn, Hall of Famer for the Orioles. Wally Joyner for the Angels. Al Newman for the Twins. Mike Schmidt. That's a good one. That's a classic card right there, actually. And we got Moose Haas for the Athletics. There's that Jack Morris card we had seen earlier. Uh, Dave Cohn for the Mets. <laughs> Matt Noakes All-Star card. Classic. Love it. Good old Matt Noakes. Set that one right there. Uh, Jeff Musselman for the Blue Jays. Mark Davis for the Padres. I'll set that one in my Padre stack. Uh, Mariners, Stan Clark. 
Sean Yegas for the Dodgers. Luis Salazar, another Padre. There's a George Bell All-Star card. Set that one right there. Uh, boom, Dave Winfield. Nice. Dave Winfield for the Yankees. Unfortunately, it's not a Padres card, but can't have everything. Uh, Giants, Don Robinson. Oh, there we go. Matt Williams. Look how young he looks there. Wow. I don't think that's his... Uh, that might be his rookie... You know what? I'm thinking this is his rookie tops card, actually. I'm going to... Yeah. Yep, Matt Williams rookie on tops. Uh, Roger Clemens, all-star card. Billy Hatcher for the Astros. Mike Trujillo for the Mariners. Chili Davis for the Giants. Brooke Jacoby for the Indians. Kevin Gross for the Phillies. I heard that a lot growing up. Just kidding. Uh, Brian Downing for the Angels. There he is. John Cruck for the Padres. John Cruck. Hey, Steve. How you doing? Uh, John Cangalossi for the Pirates. We got Jim Rice. There we go for the Red Sox. Danny Gladden for the Twins. Mike Scott for the Astros. Uh, Jeff Robinson. I believe we pulled him in the 87 as well. Juan Banica, but Baniquez for the Blue Jays. Uh, Joe Carter for the Indians. Joe Robinson for the Blue Jays. Jim Morrison, not from the doors. Mickey Hatcher for the Dodgers. And Mike Campbell for the Mariners. So there you go. 1988. Hey, Steve, in case you missed the very beginning, <clears throat> these are the brand new Fairfields that just came out for 2020. And I did pick up a few boxes. But I'm, even though it's not Fairfield Friday, I'm going to crack one open today just to see what content they're throwing in the new boxes. Maybe they've changed things up a bit. I don't know. So we'll get into that here after a bit. Mike's got the original cheating Astro. Really? What'd he do? I don't know the story. Let me see if I can find it. What's his claim to fame there? Mike Scott. There he is. Being a pitcher, was he, uh, I don't know, did he have like Crisco under his sleeve or pine tar under his glove or something? I see Carter on the rack pack. Carter on the rack pack. I don't see the Carter card. Huh. Okay. Not sure. Oh, there it is. It was right in front of us. I hadn't gotten to it yet. You you got that right. Gary Carter's coming up just in time, Steve. And on the back, we got San Javier, David Wells, and Pat Sheridan. So we've gone through 87 and 88. Now we're up to 89. And I like 89. I think 89... Uh, Traded is much better. Then you get the Griffey and the Randy Johnson and whatnot. Oh, he scuffed the baseballs. Okay. And he won the Cy Young in his 86. Hmm. Well, I guess that would give him the advantage. These trifolds are a pain to open. All right, 1988 tops coming up. I'm sorry, 89. We already did the 88. Uh, lots of good stuff in 89. So let's see what we can get. Uh, Mark Salas with the White Sox. Spike Owen with the Red Sox. I always like how the Sox always come in pairs. That's a little joke there. Uh, Dave Valle for the Mariners. Kevin Bass for the Astros. Bill Schroeder for the Brewers. Donnie Hill for the White Sox. Barry Lyons for the Mets. Rick Cerrone for the Red Sox. John Farrell for the Indians. Dave Svoom for the Brewers. Larry Owen for the Royals. Dwayne Murphy for the Tigers. Uh, Jim Fregosi for the White Sox. Stan Javier for the Athletics. Dave Cohn for the Mets. Mark Grant for the Padres. There we go. That's a good one. He's uh, an announcer now in the broadcasting booth. Quite the comedian, actually, too. 
Uh, Lou Whitaker for the Tigers. Dwayne Ward for the Blue Jays. Keith Hernandez for the Mets. Teddy Iguera for the Brewers. Jeff Robinson for the Tigers. Jose Sasena for the Rangers. Mike Moore for the Mariners. A lot of M's there. Mike Moore, Mariners. Uh, another Mariner, Scott Bradley. Shout out to Donald. Jim Clancy for the Blue Jays. Kurt Manwaring for the Giants. Wally Backman for the Mets. Bobby Meekum for the Yankees. David Wells for the Blue Jays. And Steve's favorite card, Gary Carter. There it is. 88 All-Star card, Gary Carter. Nice glossy finish on that. Set that one aside. Okay. Uh, Royals leaders card. Al leader for the Yankees. Hank Aaron, turn back the clock card. That's a nice one. Set that one aside. Uh, Keith Atherton for the Twins. Danny Jackson for the Reds. All-star card. Rick Aguilera for the Mets. Mike Young for the Brewers. Bob Dernier for the Phillies. Daryl Boston for the White Sox. Uh, boom! Boom! Check that out, guys. Sandy Alomar. Future star card. The uh, 2020 Tops rookie medallion set has him with a rookie medallion. That is a boom and a half. I'm going to sleeve that one up, actually. That is a good card. That's going straight to my PC. All right. Glad, glad to pull something exceptionally good. Uh, Rangers leaders card. Uh, Louis Meadows for the Astros. Ty Griffin for the Cubs, number one draft pick, and a Pat Sheridan for the Tigers. So there we have it for the 89 set. That Sandy Alomar really bailed us out there because I wasn't really seeing much. Other than that Gary Carter card, um, that Sandy Alomar really, really uh, did it for me. That was good. Let me know a trade for your Carter so far. Uh, I don't know about a trade. I'll, I'll, I, I've got a little collection of Carters set aside for you there, bud. That uh, once I get enough to fill an envelope, they're heading your way. So here we are. Now we're leaving tops. Now we're on to Fleer. A little different product. Let's see if these are any easier to open. Um, sort of. What a mess. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. There we go. Let's get that in the trash. Get rid of that. Oh, cool. Wesley's got a bad piece. That's awesome. All right. So we got the stickers there. We'll get to them here in a bit. So starting off, up to bat for the athletics catcher, Ron Hassey. Vaughn Hayes for the Phillies. Pat Borders for the Blue Jays. R.J. Reynolds for the Pirates. Dan Gladden for the Twins. There's Tommy Gregg for the Braves. Bob Kipper for the Pirates. Omar Vizquel for the Mariners. Milt Thompson for the Cardinals. Dwight Evans for the Red Sox. Steve Lyons for the White Sox. Tim Burtzis for the Reds. Andy McGaffigan for the Expos. Greg Briley for the Mariners. Will the Thrill Clark. That's a good one. I'll set that one aside. And our sticker is going to be the Cardinals sticker. Set that one aside as well. Here, we'll put the stickers over there. Absolutely, Steve. Uh, Dave Wells for the Blue Jays. Boom! Barry Bonds. Nice. Set that one aside. Uh, Randy Bush. Look how skinny he was back then. So young. Uh, Randy Bush for the Twins. There's a checklist. 
Nothing to get excited about. Unless there's a Gary Carter on here. Let's see. Lo and behold, check it out right there. Say, hey, Steve, check it out. Number 199, Gary Carter. Well, you know where that card's going. Set it right there for the time being. What are the odds? Fourth one from the top. There it was. That's cool. And it's the Mets, too. I don't know if you noticed that. It's a, it's part of the Mets lineup. Uh, Jeff King for the Pirates. Bill Swift for the Mariners. Boom! Ozzy Smith. Here, we'll set him back next to himself. Uh, Nick Asaski for the Red Sox. Eric King for the White Sox. See, again, the Sox always come in pairs. That's funny. Uh, Jack Armstrong for the Reds. Boom! Larry Walker. Man, look how young he is in that one. Ring the bell for that one. And that is... That's his rookie card, guys. That's Larry Walker's rookie. I don't think I've ever seen that card before. Cool. All right. Got David Valle for the Mariners. Ernie Riles for the Giants. Paul Gibson for the Tigers. And Kurt Gibson for the Dodgers. That's funny. Two Gibsons back-to-back. Uh, and our sticker goes to the Pirates, Cardinals, Padres. Yay, Padres and Giants. Okay, we got Jeff Blauser for the Braves. Uh, game save Savers, we got Mark Davis and Mitch Williams. That's half Padre, so I'll put him in my, my Padre stack. Uh, John Morris for the Cardinals. Uh, Joey Bell for the Indians. Kevin McReynolds for the Mets. Boom! Cal Ripken Jr. Shout out to Donald. Maybe he's lurking in the background. But I will uh, pay him some respect and sleeve him up. So here's our little, with the exception of Bonds, of course, that's our little Hall of Fame corner. Uh, we got Daryl Hamilton for the Brewers. Pat Tabler for the Royals. Frank Viola for the Mets. Doug Jones for the Indians. John Franco for the Reds. George Brett. There you go. 10th Anniversary Players of the Decade card. Uh, Kim Oberkfell for the Giants. And Rich Gedman for the Reds. And our final card is, boom, check that out. League Standouts, Don Mattingly. Shout out to Fitzy if he's in the background lurking anywhere. That's his uh, main PC. I'll definitely hold on to that one. 20 bucks on the walker. Is that what it's worth? And our final sticker is an Orioles card. Nice. Alrighty. So that does it for our Take It Back Tuesday portion. I do, like I said, I want to, I do want to crack open this Fairfield just to see what uh, the new boxes entail, what kind of product has been packed in. I'm guessing it's probably more of the same, which is fine. Uh, I don't mind it the way it is, but it would be kind of interesting to see maybe a new style of content. Twenty bucks on eBay, that's awesome. Thanks for letting me know, Wesley. I had no idea. And uh, corners are pristine. I guess, that being said, I had a one, uh, not one touch it, but uh, top load it. So those corners remain in pristine shape. And we'll throw that back there as well. All right, so. Yeah, cool. Thanks for letting me know that, Wesley. So here we go. This is the uh, debut of the new... 2020 Fairfields. Picked these up at the local Walgreens just the other day. And let's see, what do they say? I always check the dates on these. This box was printed in February 11th of 2020. Uh, PSA 10 sold for 60. Well, I don't know. I've never had anything sent out for grading, but it looks. I don't know. 
the centering may be a little off. Maybe thicker on the right, I'm thinking, just by its skosh. But other than that, the corners are, are perfect. So here we go. Let's see. What, I don't I have no idea what kind of packs come in here, what kind of cards come in here. So let's let's see what we get. Here we go. Premier. All right, there we go. Box is empty. There, we'll set that kind of overseeing Mr. Smith back there. And let me get a couple stands out in case we need them. Okay. So let's see what our pack is going to be. It's going to be a 92 Leaf Series 1. Okay, so I'll get to that here in a bit. Let me set it down. And we'll open that front half a second. Do you prefer the three packs, one card, or one pack, 100 cards? I don't like the um, the three packs. The, they're called the prime packs. I, I've had zero. I've probably opened up at least seven or eight of those, and they are just, to me, a complete waste of money. I might get a dollar or two back on a nine dollar investment. It really is a, in my opinion, a poor, a poorly priced product, if that makes sense. I wouldn't mind it if it was more reasonable, but the, for my money, the hundred box, hundred count box for five bucks is the best bang for the buck, in my opinion. Yeah, I don't care for those three pack ones. So even though they'll give you a hobby pack, you're still not guaranteed anything. And you just don't get a whole lot of cards. So here we go. Let's see what we got. We start out with a Tony Oliva. Turn back the clock with the Twins. We got Dan Petrie. Donruss 91. Uh, Ed Whitson for the Padres. I'll set that one aside. Hey, David M. How you doing? I'm doing very well. Thanks for asking. Hope you're doing well, too. We're just debuting the brand new 2020 release boxes of Fairfields. Even though it's not Fairfield Friday, I just wanted to crack one open and see what, what you get. So here's a Jose De Leon for the Cardinals. Uh, Luis Aquino for the Royals. Uh, Dan Plesak for the Brewers. Uh, so far it appears to be about the same quality, same style of cards. There's Everett Stoll, uh, draft pick 1992 out of Tennessee State. Uh, there's Ray Fisher. He was a spitballer apparently back in 1912. Uh, this is a cool looking one. George, uh, Jorge Fab Fabregas. Oh, he's with the D-backs. Wow. Arizona it says. Interesting. Hmm. I'll set that one aside. Uh, boom! Check that out. Kurt Schilling, 91 Studio. Sweet. That'll go straight to my PC. Uh, he's with the Astros there, unfortunately, but look at that smug look. He's just like so full of himself there, but, uh, he had a bit of an ego, but I can't fault him for a little, having a little ego is not a bad thing. Uh, there's Arthur Rhodes for the Orioles. Uh, that Dwight Gooden. Yep. For the Mets. There's Scott Hemmond for the Athletics. Hector Villanueva for the Cubs. Rex Hudler for the Cardinals. Steve Balboni for the Yankees. He actually TTM, so I'm going to set that one aside. Uh, boom! Chipper Jones. Check that one out, guys. Chipper Jones with the Braves. Donruss. Uh, what year is this? Looks like 96. No, 95. 1995 Chipper Jones. Let's leave him up. I've been folding laundry. Yep. It doesn't fold itself. Uh, there's Keith Miller for the Royals. Uh, Todd Pratt for the Phillies. There's a... Oh, check that out. Throwback uniform for the Chicago White Sox. 1917 Revisited. That is a cool card.
I know Chuck would like that card for sure. Hey, Parker's Cards, how are you? Thanks for jumping in. Okay. Well, we've got some interesting cards so far out of this Fairfield. Uh, there's Jimmy Key for the Yankees. David Valle for the Seattle Mariners. Rene Arrocha for the Cardinals. Uh, John Russell for the Rangers. Howard Johnson for the Mets. Mariano Duncan for the Phillies. Pedro Martinez for the Dodgers. Nice score, 93. Uh, Randy Reddy for the Phillies. Bob Sebra for the Expos. Uh, Jose Guzman for the Cubs. Uh, Brett Barbary for the Miami Marlins. Or Florida Marlins, sorry. Oh, these cards are spinning around and getting out of order here. Okay. Uh, Bob Shirley for the Yankees. Tom, uh, Tim Stoddard for the Yankees. Jim Morrison with the Pirates. There's Benny Ayala for the Orioles. That's an 82, I believe. Nope, 81. 81 Fleer. One of these days I'll figure it out. Uh, Juan Acevedo for the Rockies. Look at that die cut, too. The tops die cut. Here, I'll, I'll sleeve that one up. There may be a Rockies fan out there that would appreciate a die cut. Uh, Bobby Bun Munoz, 94 Donruss. Wes Chamberlain for the Phillies. Uh, Chili Davis for the Angels. And check that out. Tommy John pitcher card on an 81 top. Uh, uh, Fleer, I'm sorry. 81 Fleer Tommy John. That's cool. That's in really good shape, too. Centering as... My goodness, the centering is perfect. Slight ding in the bottom right corner, unfortunately. But uh, not bad. All right. That's uh, pretty wise of you there, Steve. Uh, Warren Newson of the White Sox. Sid Bream of the Pirates. Uh, Jonathan Johnson. <laughs> John John. Johnny Johnson for the Texas Rangers. Uh, ooh, here's an old throwback. 81 tops. Dave McKay. 82. Ah, missed it again. Still, very nice old card. Paul Canerco for the White Sox. Uh, Mookie Wilson for the Mets. Jack Clark for the Cardinals. Uh, record breaker, Indians. Who's that? Um, Jones. Doug Jones. Okay, Doug Jones for the Indians. There's Rafael Palmero, upper deck for the Orioles. And Jay Booner, as Donald would say, Jay Bones. <laughs> so there's the first half of the new box. I'm actually uh, pleased with it. It is it is a little bit different. They've got a little bit different content than the older Fairfields. Uh, 82 tops, one of my favorite sets. Nice. All right, so here we go. Leaf, 92, Series 1. I butchered the opening of that one. Okay, here we go. Uh, Mark Langston for the Angels. Tim Nearing for the Red Sox. Will the Thrill Clark for the Giants. We'll set that one aside. Uh, Jack Armstrong for the Indians. Doug Jones for the Astros. Mark Carrion for the Tigers. Brent Main for the Royals. Boom! Check that one out. Shout out to me. <laughs> My main PC, Tony Gwynn. Nice, nice, nice. Set that one aside. Cool. 
Uh, there's a BJ Surhoff for the Brewers. Dave Otto for the Indians. Dave Gallagher for the Mets. Chuck Knobloch for the Twins. Mike Gallego for the Yankees. Sid Bream for the Braves. And here's a gold border card. Or is it just backwards? Oh, it's a black, actually a black border for David Cohn. Interesting. Some sort of special insert, I, I suppose. All right, so on to our first. Technically, this was the front half of the box. We opened the second half first. So, uh, Charlie Blackman starts us off with a Topps Chrome card. It's a nice one. Uh, does Clark do TTM? I'm I it would be a beautiful TTM. Steve, do you know for a fact he does? If so, I definitely want to look into that. And if you have any info on that, please let me know. Uh there's Jeff Fry for the Rangers. Carlos Garcia for the Pirates. That's an odd color for the Pirates uniform. Looks like red on gray with a blue helmet. Uh, Mark Carrion for the Giants. There's Mike Felder for the uh, Brewers. Jeff Reardon for the Expos. Carlos Villanueva for the Cubs. Look at that mustache on him. <laughs> well, that's cool, Steve. I'll have to get uh, more info on that for sure. Uh, Kirk McCaskill for the White Sox. Uh, Gerald Alexander for the Rangers. Rookie prospect Matt Holliday for the Cardinals. Uh, ben McDonald. I remember his uh, 90 upper deck card had that error in it. And that was quite the uh, quite the attraction there, trying to get that card for a while. Uh, Jeff Brantley for the Giants. Britt Burns for the White Sox. Luis Salazar for the Tigers. Hey, Chuck. Chuck, I've called you out a few times today so far with my White Sox cards. Uh, there's Kerry Page, 92 draft pick. Not sure who he's with. Doesn't have a team. Uh, Orlando Miller with the Astros. Uh, Ron Darling with the Athletics. Frank Viola, all-star card for the Twins. Uh, this is an all-star checklist. Now that's an interesting checklist, guys. Check this out. It's classic cards. The team on the front is called the Foxes. Never heard of them. But it's an all-star checklist. But if you look at the number one name at the top, Michael Jordan. So that's... Uh, you don't see that on a checklist every day. Uh, Jim Pitsley for the... The Wilmington Blue Rocks, but it says it's affiliated with the Royals, apparently. Um, Eric Karros for the Dodgers. Oh, really? Britt Burns? I've never even heard of him before. Huh. Uh, Lance Johnson with the White Sox. Otis Nixon with the Expos. Gary Ward with the Yankees. Uh, Jaime Navarro for the Brewers, Tom Browning for the Reds, Ronnie Walden for the Dodgers, Dickie Thon for the Phillies, Mickey Tettleton for the Tigers, there's Ray Lankford for the Cardinals, Stan Clark for the Mariners, Gary Reedus for the White Sox, shout out to Chuck once again, <laughs> Steve Bichelle for the Rangers, George Frazier for the Twins, and we've got a duel, Denny Hawking and Oscar Munoz. Coming attractions for the Twins. Royals leaders card. Jeff Manto. Uh, where are the Big Macs at? Wait. I guess Till McDonald's. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I haven't pulled any Big Macs yet. You're an old... I don't know you're an old school uh, Red Sox fan. That's why you and Ethan get along so well. You're old school Red Sox. He's new school Red Sox. Uh, Jeff Manto for the Indians. 
Uh, Marty Cardova for the Twins. There he is. Gold, Chris Sabo. Chris Sabo with the Reds. I always set those cards aside for Chris Howard, a buddy of mine. Uh, ben Ogilvy. Oh, my goodness, guys. We got a we got an on-card auto, I think. I'm going to set set that one aside. Look like a chrome card of some sort. Uh, wow. First box of the 2020 Fairfield, and I think I got a hit. Uh, Doug Descenzo for the Rangers. Mike Felder for the Brewers. Brett Boone for the Mariners. Uh, Jesse Barfield for the Blue Jays. Don't make me send you a Machado card. Okay. I've got a whole bunch of Baez just waiting to head your direction. <laughs> I mean, Navarro for the Brewers. Uh, Mark Portugal. Mark Portugal for the Reds. I'm used to seeing him on Astros cards, I believe. Uh, Jeff King for the Pirates. Gilberto Reyes for the Expos. Mariano Duncan for the Reds. Gerald Perry for the Royals. And our hit, guys, is going to be... This is going to be an on-card auto. It's an Astro. Bowman Chrome. You guys recognize that face? I sure don't. Jacob Nottingham. Jacob Nottingham on card auto for Bowman Chrome. That is a that's a pretty pretty card. Nice autograph. Very nice. I'll ring the bell for that one. Check. I got some Machado cards. I think you'd be perfect for you. Don't do that. Don't do that. His pulling will take an end with Machado. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I won't do any more. If I if I get a pack of Machados, my streaming days are over. But uh, that's nice, guys. We got a hit out of our very first 2020 Fairfield. This is the brand new box, and there's no more open window to see the front card, so it's going to be a surprise. But that's a beautiful hit, Jacob Nottingham on a Bowman Chrome 2014. Very nice. So I'm going to set that right up there in front of Mr. Bonds. Set these cards to the side. Nickname the Sheriff. Nottingham. Oh, the Sheriff of... Good. Yeah, I never thought of that. The Sheriff of Nottingham. Good call. Very true. So let me set some of these cards aside because we've got one more product to go through. As you guys know, I like to end on uh, on more modern stuff. And uh, hey, Chuck, check this one out. I think you came in like two minutes after I pulled it. But check that out, Chuck. 91 Upper Deck. The 1917 White Sox. <laughs> throwback there's a little story about it uh, 1917 revisited so yeah thought you'd appreciate that one and uh, I'm not sure what else I may have set aside um, got the Chipper Jones uh, the Tommy John which is kind of cool ah all sorts of cool stuff in that one I like the new Fairfields I'm a big fan yeah I figured you'd love it and uh, I'm going to hold on to it for a certain person. I'm just saying. All right. Let me clear off some of this older stuff. And <laughs> Steve, you're getting a checklist at some point too, buddy. You see the number 199 there? Fourth from the top. Under the Mets, I got Gary Carter on a checklist. So that's heading towards Steve's direction. Let me get some of these cards up and out of the way. Pulled a nice Larry Walker uh, rookie card as well. And uh, Wesley said this is going for 20 bucks on eBay, so that's pretty nice. Let me uh, top load this Sheriff of Nottingham card. We'll set it up next to Mr. Walker. 
All right. Hey, Donald. You totally almost missed you. Well, I got one more thing I'm going to do before I sign off. Love it. Gorgeous card. Yep. Cool. Yep. I didn't get anything out of my two Fairfields I bought. Were they the new uh, 2020 boxes? Parker's, was it the new the new box? Curious to know. So we're going to wrap up today's stream by opening up a blaster. I've got a 2019 Topps Gallery. And uh, I like this product. It's a good product. I've had some luck in the past with Gallery. Ah, no worries, Donald. I have Walker's Upper Deck Rookie PSA 10 and doubt I could get 20 bucks for that. Huh. Well, maybe that's what that maybe that was an asking price, not an actual sale price or sold price on eBay. Okay, Donald, no worries. Yeah, I hope all is well. Okay, so here we go, guys. Twenty nineteen. What are we supposed to get? Um, four artist proof parallels. How many packs are we supposed to get? Four cards per pack. Seven packs plus one bonus pack. Okay. Thirty-two total cards. So that's yep. Four cards a pack for eight packs. Oops. Sorry. That let go and bump the camera on me. Hey, Chat Town. Good to see you guys. Oh, we're up to double digits. That was a slow progress today. Huh. Usually that, that top flap is folded up. It's, it's going to be tricky to... Uh, look at that. There's no, there was no fold in it. That's different. All right, so here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We'll hold on to that one till the end. So I'll advertise what we're opening up here, and I'll have some stands ready just in case. I've got the stands ready for that Mike Trout autograph that we're going to pull out of here, right? <laughs> A little optimism never hurts. All right, here we go. Pack number one out of eight. And they're already being finicky. There we go. Boom! Guys, right off the bat, check that out. <laughs> First card pulled. Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie card, Tops Gallery. Wow. Um, my goodness. That is a good way to start out. <laughs> okay, well, I'm done. I, you're not going to get any better than that unless it had an autograph. Wow. Don't we wish on that trout? Hee <laughs> hee, I know, right? That would be cool. Yeah, that's a nice first pull. I mean, first card, first pack. Uh, followed by a Mike Fultenowicz for the Braves. Shout out to Ethan. He loves to say that name. These are all horizontal cards so far. Uh, Taylor Ward, rookie card for the Angels. And a Miguel Cabrera. Very nice. Miggy Cabrera for the Tigers. All right. Nice. Uh, okay, I'll be sending you something that should crack you up a little along with that new or with that TTM. Okay. Sounds good. Fire already. That's right. Sold for $7 the Tatis. Ah, we're not selling yet, Wesley. But uh, it may come up for sale. I got to keep it in my PC for a little while just to enjoy it for a little bit. All right. Rookie card for Lane Thomas. 
for the Cardinals. Trevor Story for the Rockies. Ryan Helsley for the Cardinals. And a Chris Davis for the Athletics. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Alrighty, here we go. Trey Mancini. Uh, Sean Reed Foley, rookie card. With his Clark Gable mustache going on there. Uh, got, we got some fancy card here coming up. What's this going to be? A Hall of Famer. It's a Yankee. Mariano Rivera. Nice. Don't think I've ever seen that card before in anybody's streams, ever. And our last one is a Trent Thornton. Rookie card for the Blue Jays. Is this numbered by chance? No, it's just a Hall of Fame card, but that is a sweet, sweet card. Chuck, you just got that Tatis and Stevens card sale? Uh, Trey's my name. Bonifacio Valdez is your name. Is Your name's Trey? Okay, okay. Oh, get back up there, Mr. Rivera. All right. Uh, three down. And five to go. I haven't been in a card store in quite some time. All, all of ours are closed. That's your nickname, Trey. Gotcha. Uh, Xander Bogarts for the Red Sox. Ooh, we got a special insert card here coming up here. Mike Yastrzemski rookie card. Very nice. And what's this special insert going to be? A Chris Bryant heritage card for the Cubs. Very cool. And our, Oh, boom. Pete Alonzo rookie. Wow. My goodness. Pete Alonzo rookie card. There, we'll set uh, set these guys up for for display. Poor Mr. Bogarts didn't get the attention that the other three did. Yeah, Bonifacio. Yeah, the Trey Mancini card. Yeah, I got you. Oh, sorry to hear that, Parkers. Oh, Cedric Mullins rookie card. Everyone's got a Cedric Mullins rookie card. Uh, Jacob Nix for the Padres. Very nice. I'll set that one in my Padres stash. Boom! Babe Ruth Masters card. Followed by Heath Filmeyer for the Royals. That's a nice Babe Ruth. Yeah, I agree with you, Chuck. This is an awesome box, man. This is this is fun. Like these are all fun packs to open up. All right, two more of the regular packs. This box is flaming. I should be wearing gloves for all the heat and fire. So, Chuck, you're in the same boat I am. Yep, LCSs are closed. Uh, Shane Bieber, that picture though. I don't know. Look at his teeth. Hmm. Uh, another little special insert looks like coming up. Uh, Sean Anderson, rookie card for the Giants. And we got a Master and Apprentice card. Sandy Koufax, and I believe that's Clayton Kershaw, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, and a Carson Kelly Diamondback. Yep, Clayton Kershaw and the Master and Apprentice. So we'll set those right there. And Cl Carson Kelly, of course, that's going in my PC. Because he's a D-back. Nice. Just want to sure, make sure it doesn't say Justin Bieber anywhere on the back, but it says Shane. Okay, last pack of regular. <laughs> I know, I know Trey. I'll, I'll call you Trey, Bonifacio. 
since that's your nickname. Yeah, those teeth were pretty pretty rough. <laughs> David, that's um interesting. The hits keep coming. Yep. Uh Mookie Betts. Nice. Looks like we're gonna Oh, we got five cards in this one, guys. Supposed to get four cards a pack. We got a fifth card in here. Don't know what that means, but there's Mookie Betts. Kevin Biggio rookie card. Boom. Followed by a Chris Bryant base. Okay, we got the Chris Bryant Heritage also. We got, oh, okay, it's going to be the featured artist card. These are the people who actually did the artwork. Kevin Graham, John, John Giascarp, Gia, Gian Caspro, and Mayumi Seto. Interesting. Featured artist. And our final card is going to be a Jeff McNeil rookie. Very nice. Boom, so we got the Biggio and the McNeil rookie cards in that one pack alone. Uh, yep. All right, we'll sleeve up the, the Biggio for sure. All right, those th that wow. I mean, those were phenomenal cards. And on to our last pack of the day. We just broke the hour mark, so this is good timing. It's our four exclusive artist proof parallels inside. Nice way to end the base cards. Absolutely, Chuck. You're absolutely right. All right, here we go. Our parallels. Oh, nice. Tuki Toussaint rookie card, artist proof. Juan Soto, artist proof. Danny Jansen, sporting the uh, Chris Sabo lenses there. And our final card of the day is going to be uh, Whit Merrifield. Well, I'm going to put that Tuki Toussaint back up front. front. We'll call that the, the final card. How's that sound? So there you go. That was an awesome, awesome pack of, uh, actually awesome box of gallery. Fairfields produced a wonderful uh, Jacob Nottingham on-card auto for the Astros card. Uh, we did pull a Larry Walker out of a Trifold Cello pack for the Fleer, Fleer 90. And a whole slew of rookie cards and good hits out of the gallery. So awesome, awesome. Uh, take it back Tuesday. Uh, hey, Robert's in the house. Good to see you, Robert. I, I missed it. You said you said a joke. Uh, nah, yeah, so much for that prediction. <laughs> uh, you haven't deleted it yet, so I, I still see it says judge. Uh, what did Robert say? What was the joke? Little joke there, very little. Yeah, it's such a small joke, Robert. I can't find it. So much bad prediction. Alrighty. So awesome, awesome day. But Chuck, yeah, I, I, I thought first person I thought of was you when I pulled that card. I knew you'd like that. So outstanding. Alrighty, guys. Well, there are plenty of other folks that are live streaming right now, and I'm gonna go out and check them out as well and grab a bite to eat for dinner and call it a night. But hey, I want to thank everybody for jumping in. Looks like we peaked out at 11, I think, was the high. Um, I'm so glad you all jumped in when you did. And, um, yeah, just uh, check out everybody else's channel tonight. Hopefully I'll see you in the chats and we can uh, continue our conversation as we progress throughout the channels. And, um, again, I'm, I'm curious to know what uh, that joke is there, Robert. Have I watched Papa J? Yes, Bonifacio. I am a moderator on Papa J's channel, as a matter of fact. Yes, Papa Jay is a wonderful person. I know that uh, uh, Deafness is streaming right now. I don't know who else may be. So we'll go check them out. So, alrighty, guys. Well, thanks again for joining me. I'm going to sign off. But uh, again, remember, guys, these baseball cards are just, and I've said this before, they are pieces of cardboard with ink printed on them. 
The value that they have is value that we arbitrarily put onto them. But the true value of this hobby is what we as a community bring to the table. The individual personalities, the individual perspectives, the people themselves are what make this hobby so great. These cards are just the glue that holds us together. So keep that in mind. Uh, don't take this hobby too seriously. Uh, just have fun with it. And happy collecting. Catch you all later. God bless you guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.